Hey guys, welcome back to PointCarding.com's YouTube channel. I'm Eric Gunderson, and today we're taking a look at the Vortex Mini Rock Engine Package. The Vortex Mini Rock Engine is a 60cc two cycle engine that is designed for cadet kart racers between ages 8 and 12, and it produces about 10 horsepower. This engine is what's called a tag engine, meaning that it has an electric onboard starter and a wiring harness that allows for remote starting um, without the use of an external starter or a pull cord. And that makes for a nice experience when you're at the racetrack for the young driver as well as for the mechanics. What we have here is the entire Mini Rock engine package, and we're gonna take a look at some of these components. But this is essentially what you'd receive if you place an order with us on pointcarting.com. This is a ready to go, bolt-on engine package. As you can see, there's a little bit of assembly required, and we're gonna walk through how to put together this engine package on an actual go-kart, so you guys can see that before you go and place an order on the Mini Rock. But right now, let's take a look at the engine package. At center stage of this engine package is, of course, the Vortex Mini Rock engine itself, and here it is. Uh, when it's delivered in the engine package, um, it doesn't have a carburetor or exhaust installed on it, but it is a complete ready-to-go engine with both the head, the crankcase, and all the internals uh, installed, as well as the starter um, and the main uh, coil wire. Um, all the other externals would be something that we're going to have to go and uh, put together, and again, we're gonna check that out in a little bit. Um, the uh, centrifugal clutch is already installed and has a drive sprocket on it. This utilizes a 219 uh, chain and drive sprocket system. Uh, the clutch is centrifugal, meaning that as the engine and the crankshaft spins, the shoes inside expand and drives the engine. The Vortex Mini Rock engine produces its peak power and peak torque at around 11,000 RPM, and it's not uncommon to see this engine in competition rev up to 14 to 15,000 RPM, depending on your gearing application or, if you choose to do so, your motor builder's recommendations. Uh, like any two-stroke, this engine requires premix, meaning that you need to take high octane racing fuel and mix it with some uh, synthetic oil so that this can keep the engine lubricated and healthy during operation. Looking at the front of the engine, we can see the inlet for the pulse line, uh, and this will help us drive our fuel pump. This is driven by the motion of the piston heading down into the crankcase as the engine cycles, and our inlet for our carburetor. Here we have some pre-built uh, cast stanchions for uh, the airbox support, and when we go to put this engine together, that'll make a little bit more sense. On the back side of the engine, of course, is the exhaust port. We can see that the uh, exhaust flange is already pre-installed from the factory with OTK USA having installed that already. Um, and of course, then here is our starter assembly. Uh, the Bendix is inside this area, um, and this is where we would uh, install our wiring harness uh, to power the starter from the battery. Turning the engine over on the bottom side, we can see our standard bolt pattern. This is a metric bolt pattern will fit most standard two cycle motor mounts, um, such as the one that we will see here in a little bit with the DR Mini 18 when we go to install it. And uh, the kit comes with these M8 uh, metric bolts that will thread into the bottom of the uh, engine case so that you can mount it on um, a motor mount. The engine kit does not come with a motor mount. Uh, the motor mount would be something that you'd want to order separate depending on your application and the intended cart that you'd be utilizing. Next on our list of components is, of course, the carburetor. This comes completely assembled and mostly ready to install uh, from Vortex, and this is a Delorto PHBG18BS model carburetor, um, and it is a emulsion or float type carburetor. Uh, on the underside here, inside this float bowl, there are uh, some uh, floats, uh, the ability to adjust the needle, um, and then on the outside, of course, we have our fuel inlet, um, vent tube, uh, idle adjuster, and choke. Here on the top, uh, when we go to assemble the engine, that would be where you would insert your throttle cable. Next on our list of major components is going to be the battery box as well as the mounting brackets. This is the main box, and that will fit our 12-volt uh, battery that is included with this kit. Um, and then the rubber, rubber isolating bushing and uh, mounting brackets as well as associated screws are designed to fit on the chassis around one of the frame tubes. Typically on the left side of the chassis is where we see most people mount these. The air box for the Mini Rock comes unassembled, um, but assembly is fairly straightforward. 
Here is the main airbox uh, plastic component. Um, this is the inlet uh, tube. You have a red uh, dust filter that would keep main rocks and debris out. Um, your uh, airbox boot and fitment clamp. These will fit over the air horn that threads onto the carburetor um, once it's ready to install. The fuel pump for the uh, Mini Rock is a Delorto style fuel pump, uh, commonly seen on shifter carts or actually most of the Vortex Mini Rock line. One thing worth noting is very commonly on the Mini Rock, often a return line may have to be routed if it oversupplies fuel to the engine, which can cause it to bog uh, or some other issues. Also, expect to perhaps when you purchase your Mini Rock engine to also want to invest in a rebuild kit as um, two cycle premix fuel can get in these if they're left to sit and get a little bit gummy, something you might want to consider. Both your uh, carburetor fuel line as well as uh, pulse line uh, are included with the kit. Um, and when we go to install this, we'll cut this all to length. Um, here we have the uh, ignition coil as well as the spark plug boot. Um, and those again are vital pieces of equipment as of course is the spark plug itself, which is an NGK B10EG out of the factory. Um, you can run different spark plugs in these depending on the heat index and tuning you're looking for. Um, but depending on when you watch this video, make sure you double check the rules, make sure that your local rules, the Vortex Mini Rock rules or the Rock Up USA rules allow you to run different uh, spark plugs. Some inner lining to protect the uh, battery when it's in the battery box as well as these rubber isolating bushings is uh, also included in the kit. Then of course we get to the wiring harness and there are multiple components. This one mounts to the battery box and also includes our uh, battery inputs, our uh, start and stop switch, and um, this connects to the secondary uh, piece of the harness which will connect to the starter. Last but not least in the wiring harness is the ECU module, and that is something delivered by Vortex Rock. Last but certainly not least is, of course, the exhaust for the Mini Rock engine. And this is a single piece exhaust, meaning that there is no flex to play with. It fits directly on the exhaust flange um, and comes pre-assembled, ready to go, ready to bolt on from Vortex and OTK USA. Um, at the end here, we do have a removable cap in case there is any debris inside the exhaust that would need to be cleaned, but this would be very rare um, that you would need this. That's an overview of the Vortex Mini Rock engine package presented by Point Karting. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, hit the subscribe button, let us know what we got right, let us know what kind of questions you have, and we'll see you next time.